Hi, I'm Stephen from the Sign Up Genius team, and today I'm going to be talking about how to create a sign up for organizing your parent teacher conference signups. To get started, you can just go to the signupgenius.com website, and you can either create an account or log into your account, and then just click the create a sign up button in the top right hand part of your screen. And this will take you into our sign up builder. Now, the sign up builder, I'm just going to demonstrate the process of, of walking through creating a parent teacher conference sign up. And you'll see that it's very quick and very easy. And I'm also going to, along the way, show you some tools and some tips that are helpful uh, for creating this specific type of sign up. So, to get started, let's go ahead and title the sign up. And I'll just title it Parent Teacher Conferences. And then I'm going to select a group. A group is just simply uh, a collection of email addresses uh, that is attached to the sign up. You don't have to send invites from our, our site, but uh, it does give you that option. You can also create a new group if you don't have any existing groups. And from there, I'm just going to go ahead and enter the type and the category for the sign up. And let's see, education. And then we have a lot of different themes for you to choose from. Uh, in fact, you can search by category, such as education, or I could type in something, for example, a keyword such as uh, a teacher and select uh, an appropriate theme option and then you can see that populate down here and uh, this is one of our premium themes uh, it's available with one of our premium packages you also have the ability uh, with some of our premium plans to, to customize the theme if you needed to add a logo or change the coloring of the theme uh, that option is available as well in here you can also change any of the details about the sign up if you wanted to provide some additional instructions for parents or anything like that you can also list those right there in that box and then uh, click the done option and uh, once the sign up is is set for you the way that you want it just click save and continue and this will take you into the slots tab now this tab is uh, is is the really giving you several different ways that you can change the layout of the sign up and i for this type of sign up think that sort by date is really probably the best option so i would just leave it like that and then select the add dates option and this is going to generate all of our dates and times so really quickly this is very important so you, you don't want to enter manually each and every date and time for your appointments instead it's probably better just to generate uh, your date and times automatically within a certain set of parameters especially since these are probably recurring appointments and so I'm going to demonstrate how, how that works. I've selected that add time slots tab and then I'm going to select some random dates. So we'll say uh, um, the 12th through the 14th and you can see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And let's say that I've got some times available in the afternoon. Let's say two to five o'clock every afternoon. So I'll select that option and let's say these appointments are going to take place every 15 minutes. So I'm going to enter that those increments there. And then you have the, the ability to list the location that the, uh, that the conferences will be taking place. If they're going to be a video conferences, you can list the link there. Or we also have a Zoom integration so that you can add that function there. And that'll put the, the link to the Zoom conference on the actual sign up. And once you're ready, just click Add Time Slots. And this is going to, as you see, generate all of the different times within the parameters that we listed a moment ago. And if you need to build in cushion or take a break, you can always come back in here and just delete a specific line item to build in cushion into your schedule there. And once you've done that, now you're going to want to actually add slots. Now, a slot is really just titling the role of what people are signing up for. Our site's really used for a lot of different purposes and it's very flexible. And so sometimes people have multiple slots. They may have slots for setup and for takedown and for uh, errands and, and being a floater or, or whatever types of roles that people are creating for. In this case, I, this is just for organizing those teacher conferences. And so I'm just going to put conference appointments as a way of really defining what people are signing up for. We don't really need a help comment. If you needed to uh, explain additional things about a specific role, then you could do so. But in this case, I don't think we need to. And we're going to leave the number one at, at one because we really only want one person signing up for each and every date and time. We don't want multiple people signing up for the same time. And in this case, I'm going to actually assign it to all dates. So I want conference appointments to be assigned to each and every date and time. So this one slot is going to basically generate and assign itself to each and every date and time. So you'll have that slot. You only have to create it one time, but it'll assign it to every single one as we'll see in just a second here. So I'm gonna click save and note how 
this has actually created that conference appointment for each and every date and time. So you didn't have to create multiple slots. You only had to create the slot one time, assign it to all dates, and then it just it just duplicates it so that it's now assigned to every single date and time. And uh, you can go through that, just make sure that's set up the way that you want it. And if it is, then just click Save and Continue. And this will take you into the Settings tab. Now on the Settings tab, you can see that the name and the email address are automatically required for people that are signing up. And the comment field is also really good for parent-teacher conference signups because I find that it's a great place for you to change the comment field, to retitle it and put child's name. And uh, this way, when parents are signing up, they'll actually have to list their child's name. So that just so that you can kind of keep track of uh, which parent is representing which child when they're signing up. And in this case, I'm going to require that that field be completed by parents. And then there's another great option right here. This gives you the ability to hide names and comments on the signup so that only the names are visible to you as the signup creator and, and not to others. So they can't see who's coming when to, uh, to these various appointments. So I'm going to select that option on the signup as well. And on parent teacher conference signups, I always feel like it's a, a great professional look to remove ads from the signups. So you don't have to worry about ads popping up on your signups. And so this is available with our premium packages. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and select that option here under the preferences. And we've got several other tabs. So, for example, the notifications tab. And you'll notice on the notifications, this is where you get your reminders sent. That option is already selected as a default. And it's planning to send out those reminders two days in advance. Now, you can always change that. You could say send it out three days in advance, anywhere between one and 14 days. And uh, if you didn't want to have reminders sent, you could also deselect that option. But I definitely want my parents to, to get those reminders. So I'm going to leave that selected. Uh, this selection right here is notifying all designated admins. And basically, anytime people sign up on your signup, it's going to send an email letting you know. And uh, so if you don't want to get 20 or 30 emails each time, you know, when, you're, when your parents are signing up, then you may want to consider deselecting that option. In this case, I'm going to do so, but that's really up to you. If you want to get those notifications, then you'll want to leave that selected uh, so, that, you know, so that you get those notifications from the sign up each time people sign up. And then the restrictions tab has a lot of different options under it. You know, for example, you can enhance the security on your sign up. You could require users to create an account. They're not required to have an account in order to sign up as a default. Uh, you could add a, an access code to the sign up. Uh, that's like password protecting your sign up if you just wanted to have an ad additional layer of security on your sign up. But one feature I really wanted to show that I think is, is really helpful for parent teacher conference signups is this sign up locking feature. Now, again, this is a premium feature available to sign ups. But one thing that's really helpful about this feature is that it prevents people from signing up at the last minute or deleting themselves from the sign up at the last minute without really letting you know. Um, so that way you don't get someone that, that signs up an hour before the conference time and then shows up and you were unprepared or they remove themselves and then left you waiting for them to show up. So in this case, I'm going to select both of those options and I'm just going to enter a one day parameter. You can enter whatever you want, two days, three days. But in this case, this is going to prevent people from signing up within that one day window before the, the conference time occurs. And this would prevent people from deleting themselves within that one day window, just so that each day I know um, who's coming to, uh, to my different conference appointments. And, uh, and once you've made selections on the different features that you want to apply to the sign up in this case, you can click save and continue. And this will take you into the publish uh, sign up tab and you can see on here this is just a preview of your sign up before you publish it. Now once you publish the sign up, you always can go back and edit the sign up. But once people start signing up on your sign up, it's generally best to not make many edits to your sign up because you don't want to accidentally delete someone from your sign up or anything like that. So I'm just going to preview the sign up. I can also see that I've got a mobile option to see what the sign up looks like from a mobile view. Uh, I have the option to look at it from a participant preview. And uh, you can see once that populates here that uh, if, if someone were signing up and they selected a particular slot that, um, you know, they, this person signed up for April 12th, at this time they can enter their child's name, enter their name, enter their email address and sign up and they're done. And so it's really a quick and easy process for your parents to get signed up for their various appointment times. And if that's all set up the way that I want it, I'm just going to select publish. And as you can see here, now the sign up has been published and it has its own unique link. And now I need to invite people to sign up. And so you don't want to forget that. Once you've published the sign up, 
uh, you need to still let people know how to get to the sign up. And so one option is to click that compose message option right here, and that will generate emails from our site uh, to your different parents. And this will this will take you actually into an email program on our site. So if you click that option, you'll still have the opportunity to uh, to model up the message, to enter the text that you want to, to enter any additional email addresses that you want to send the email to, to preview the email, and then to send it. And so uh, so that'll take you there. If you want to send it uh, from your own email program, or let's say that you want to put it in a uh, a digital newsletter that you send out to your classroom. You also have that option. You can just simply come up here and copy the link. And then that link you can paste into your email program or paste into that newsletter and, uh, and easily share the sign up link there. Anyone with that link will be able to visit the sign up page and get signed up for your conferences. And once you've, uh, once you've sent your invites, you can just click the view tab. And on the view tab, you can see here the sign up uh, live here. And I've got this admin toolbar because the sign up knows that I'm the creator. It can see I'm logged into my account, I'm viewing a sign up that I've created. So it provides me with this admin toolbar where I can add and edit, delete people, and I have these admin functions. This red bar is just letting me know that I'm going to see the names of the people on the sign up. But because I've selected the option to hide names, it's letting me know that it's really only visible to me, that anybody else that was viewing this sign up right now wouldn't be able to see the names of people that were signed up. It would just say slot field if this, if for example, if this slot here was taken. But as you can see, parents can easily come and they can select a, a specific sign up slot. They can click submit and sign up, and that'll take them into the page for uh, for completing those fields that we looked at a moment ago for uh, for getting signed up on their parent teacher conference signups. So as you can see, it's really easy to create an online sign up. You can just create it within a few minutes send it out to all your parents, and then they sign up at their convenience, and now you've scheduled all of your parent-teacher conference appointments. And this is a big time saver compared to having to send out a bunch of emails to different parents and coordinate with all the different schedules and the times. With just a single sign up, you've now scheduled all of your parent-teacher co conference appointments. So get started today creating your parent-teacher conference sign up. It's just that easy.